Hi, everyone, and welcome back to Quick Tips on DaVinci Resolve. And today we're going to take a look at how to make a video clip uh, have a sepia tone look. Oftentimes when I'm working on a project and we're doing an interview with someone and they start talking about the way things used to be when they were a girl or a boy, a uh, young man, and we don't necessarily just want to watch people talk. You know, it gets very boring very quickly just to see a talking head. And so we want to illustrate what they're saying with some cutaway shots or B-roll shots, we call them. But uh, when they start talking about the way things used to be in the 60s, you know, or the 50s, it doesn't look quite right to use stock footage that was shot last year in beautiful color to illustrate or reference something that has happened a long time ago. And, and so it's a good idea to create kind of an effect that gives the viewer the feeling that uh, this is archive footage. This is something from the past. So for example, here on our timeline, the lady is talking, talking, and she starts talking about the way things used to be back uh, in the 80s. I think she's talking about a, a drought that uh, came during the 80s. And so we found this wonderful stock footage on uh, storyblocks.com, but it uh, is, again, in this wonderful color, and it just didn't seem quite right for her to be talking about something that happened in the 80s and it be in this wonderful color. So how do you add this look, this sepia tone look in Da Vinci? The last video editor that I used to work with, Edius Pro, had a filter you could just drop on and make a few adjustments. And so <laughs> when I came up against this, uh, when I switched to DaVinci and I wanted to make a sepia tone, I had to struggle a little bit to figure out how to do this. So I thought I'd share uh, that with you. Now, DaVinci does have a lot of wonderful filters that you can uh, apply to your clips. Uh, let's maybe go over where I have these clips uh, in their original format. Here they are in full color. Let's take a look at uh, the filters that uh, do come in DaVinci, and you can do that by going up here to this magic wand uh, icon up here, and that brings on our effects. We have here our video transitions, our audio transitions, titles, uh, generators, and effects. And when you first start using DaVinci, it's a good idea to to go and take a look at what is available in the way of effects and filters. Let's just take a quick look at effects. And a good thing to know is that when you click on any one of these or just point to them, then the filter is going to show up in your um, output monitor over here. And you can get an idea of what the base is going to look like. Now, once you place the filter on any clip, of course, there's adjustments to, to make changes to this, but this is the base the different filters that you can apply or effects. You can uh, make it look like you're looking through the viewfinder of a DSLR, for example, picture-in-picture, uh, -picture, a graphics overlay, and you know, all sorts of things that you can look at. Night vision to quickly change the look and feel of a video. Noise distortion. So take a look at those, but there's also these filters under open uh, effects. And uh, so we can go to filters, and again, we can just point to it and notice as you slide your mouse uh, pointer across here that it actually s shows you what it's going to look like as the clip plays. So all of these wonderful filters that you can add by just drag and dropping them onto your clip. But as I went through these I found that there was no real sepia tone effect. At least it's not obvious as you go through here. Maybe some of these, once you pop them on and make some adjustments, you could get that effect. I'm not sure. Anyways, uh, there is a way that you can add a sepia tone, and that's by going to your color correction page. little uh, icon down here at the bottom of your screen. We've talked about these different pages that you can use in DaVinci. So let's go to the color page, and here we have our clip showing up here. And what do we need to do to affect this, to get a sepia tone look? Well, the first thing I tried was just um, uh, adding more red to it, uh, you know, but that doesn't really look very good either. Uh, and so 
what you really need to do is kind of a two-step process. What we need to do, first of all, is desaturate the clip completely. And you can do that down here at the bottom. Uh, you can just scroll this saturation and bring it right down so it's a black and white clip first. You'll notice this little uh, window up here. It's called a node in uh, DaVinci Resolve. And you'll notice that if I bring the saturation back up, it's going to show up in that window as well. And what this means is I can make all sorts of adjustments to this video clip, and all of those adjustments are going to be referenced to this node. And so let's make it black and white again. So this initial node that comes by default when you open up the color uh, page, there's going to be this one node already there. And all of the adjustments that you make are going to be referenced in that first node. But then, once you've made initial adjustments, you can add an additional node or additional nodes to your color correction process. Let's do that. We can just right click anywhere in this area and add a node. And the type of node that we want is the corrector. So let's click on that. Now, in order for this to work, we have to add the node to the stream. And you can do that just by lifting up this node and pointing and dragging and dropping it until you get the yellow line and then release your mouse button. And now this node is in the stream. So now we can make all sorts of adjustments to this node while still keeping the desaturated node separate from that. And so by selecting the second node, and you can tell it's selected by the red border. So to get our sepia tone look, we're just going to add some earth tones to it, some browns and some reds. And uh, we can do that. Uh, let's just go, first of all, to the dark areas of the video. And we can do it either by adjusting the amounts down here with the greens and the reds or you can point to the uh, little dot here and move it with your mouse. And just experiment with those until you get a look that uh, you like. Now let's go back to uh, our main edit page. And uh, one quick way to add this sepia tone look to the others uh, that you need to, you can just do a copy, first of all, of the one that you have made the adjustments to and just select the others that you want to add the same effect to. And you can do that by just pointing and clicking to them and holding down the command key on the Mac. You can select as many as you want to affect. So we have the other three selected here. And now let's do a right click on that and go to paste attributes. And we're just going to change the color correction. We're just going to click on this color correction here, hit apply. And now that effect has been applied to all four clips without having to go in and add that node to all of them. Uh, now, you might still need to go in and make some adjustments, some fine tune adjustments. This one looks like it's a little dark. And so let's select that one and go back to our colors and let's back off on the darkness of that. We see over here the node that we had created for the other clip is now showing up for this clip. And so that's nice. All right, there you go. How to add sepia tone to your clips. If you found the video helpful, go ahead and give it a like. And uh, if you haven't already done so, I invite you to subscribe to our channel for more quick tips on DaVinci Resolve. So long for today.